If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Regular Expressions for Performance Engineers series. In this video, we are going to see how we can extract the session ID by writing the regex. For the demonstration purpose, I am going to use petstore.octopark.com and whenever you enter into the store, in your HTTP response, you can see the session ID. Now let us leverage the regex 101 to write the regex to extract this session ID. I am going to copy this and I am going to paste it in the regex101.com and now let us begin writing the regex for this. As you know, the regex here will start with the J session ID because this is the left boundary for our session ID. So let me start with uh, J session ID equal symbol. Now I am going to capture this session ID by writing the regex inside the open and close parenthesis. So this is our capturing group. And first thing is I am going to enter a period so that it will identify a character. And I am going to use plus so that one or more occurrences. And I am going to use the lazy quantifier. Whenever you use question mark that is called lazy quantifier. Basically it will identify the first occurrence then it will stop looking for the other occurrences. And in the right boundary, I'm going to use a double quotes. So make sure whether you want to escape this character or not. In some tools, you may need to escape. In some other tools, you may not need to escape. So it is, uh, it will vary based on the flavors you are working. So in this case, I'm not going to escape this double quote. Let it be as the right boundary. And if you notice the test string here, there are multiple occurrences has come. One is the exact session ID. And also we have the cart action. And if you just uh, scroll towards the right side, we can see the view cart. Some additional string also has been identified and we have the sign on form and so on. So it depends on your requirement, which session ID you are going to extract. If you are good with the first occurrence, then this regex will work. But if you want to extract this session ID, then you need to change your regex to slash question mark. So now it will identify exact session ID, whether it is in view card or sign on form, it doesn't matter. It will always looks for this J session ID as the left boundary and question mark in the right boundary. So this is how you retrieve whichever thing you want using the regular expressions. Now you can use this group number. So usually in J meter, we can see dollar one dollar means first capturing group. Or if you want to use the second one, you can use the dollar two dollar and so on. So based on your requirement, you can retrieve the respected groups and you can pass it in the subsequent request. So that's the case on my side. If you have any questions, please leave me in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.